Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the second Black Rocket livestream today. We're going to be seeing more Battle Royale action, this time from two different places at Brookdale Community College. So we'll be seeing a bunch of different players take on each other in once again another 4v4 format. Um, but before we get started, uh, if you're watching us here live on Twitch, make sure to give us a follow at twitch.tv slash blackrocketllc. If you're not watching us live, make sure to check out our highlights channel at youtube.com slash brpclips. And last but not least, thank you so much to today's sponsor, Education Solutions. Make sure to check those guys out after the stream. Alright, so I do believe it is showtime. We're going to be loading into the match right here, right now. And we will take a look at the first set of maps for our players to explore. Alrighty, once again, uh, this is the second stream of the day. We do have one more at 1.30 uh, p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and that is going to be featuring more players from Brookdale and more players from Ocean County College. So be sure to stay tuned for that one in a little while. Uh, but taking a look at the map here, we're going to be seeing the Volcano Zone on the west side. Usually that's a nice spot for chests uh, along that like wooden planked area. A lot of chests like to appear in there. Um, the volcano always going to be nice suited for high ground, being able to stake out opponents and stuff. But of course, at the beginning of the match, you do have so much ground to cover in so little time. So, taking a look right now, we're going to be seeing one of the teams on the direct south side. We're going to be seeing Pokemon 12, Jim's the man, uh, Viggy, and Seamus all on the south side. They're going to be rushing around to find some chests. And we're going to be seeing Sam7, uh, Kishan, and Doge from the other side. Seamus is going to be grabbing a chest immediately underneath the bridge there. Is going to get spotted by the other team, but it looks like the other team does not have any wands yet. This is very, very early on in the game right now. Um, and if the side of Seamus, Pokemon, Viggy, and Jim is going to be able to grab some wands, they could easily get some uh, quick eliminations this early on in the match. Looks like Doge is going to be finding a nice chest here. Oh, uh, maybe, maybe not. Um, Sam and Kishan over here. Kishan... Going to be grabbing a chest as well. There is another chest on the inside. There is... Ah, yes. This is the little piece of... Uh-oh. Uh careful there. Uh, Kayshawn and Sam7, uh, you are on the same team. Do not want to be taking out your friends. That could definitely be detrimental, especially coming from a team with only three players on it. Viggy, Pokemon, and Seamus over here, as well as Jim, still just kind of looping around, grabbing whatever loot they can from inside the, gra uh, the graveyard area. And now, uh, looks like Viggy is on the approach, going up the bridge right here. Doge still grabbing that chest to top. Doge looking around, not too sure, not going to spot anyone at the moment. Viggy is safely covered by the rungs on the bridge there. Seamus and Viggy now rotating around the other side. Uh, looks like most of this team is kind of lo uh, located in the center of the map right now. Uh, not sure if Doge is the scout. Uh, Kayshawn and Sam going to be grabbing uh, the wands out of these chests here. Definitely want to get moving soon because the other team is moving and they are going to be grabbing a multitude more chests uh, while you guys are just kind of stuck in the center. Alright, Jim and Pokemon rotating up on top of the volcano here. Unfortunately, not going to find anything up there. They can absorb the energy from the volcano, and they can use the height advantage here. This is easily one of the highest points in the map, and they can use it to their advantage to spot the other team. Uh, but I'm pretty sure they know where they are at this point. They are in the center. There's really no need to use the height advantage. Uh, some of them are just kind of sticking uh, towards the center. Oh, where did... Oh... Did we lose one? I think we might have lost one. Uh, looks like one player either got taken down or I've just completely lost track of them. Uh, no, I think that that was a, a takedown. Someone got taken out there. I apologize. Not too sure who that was. I believe it was Kishan. Uh, unfortunately, not sure what happened. Maybe Sam was testing a wand and friendly fire happened because I believe those two were just kind of over there. All right, so it is now a 2v4 situation, definitely looking dangerous for the side of our other team here. We're going to be seeing the sky base beginnings from Jim, Pokemon, uh, Viggy, and Seamus now. From the volcano, we're going to be seeing what looks like a sky base. Viggy and Seamus are going to get cut off there, unfortunately. Just going to have to break that to come through. Uh, the storm is closing in, so these guys are going to need to build fast. Viggy and Seamus are going to get caught. Not for long, though. Very smart. Going to be looping around the outside instead of breaking the 
um, the terrain that they were standing on. Seamus now needing to sprint to get forwards. Vicky going to be escaping the storm. Um, and now Doge and Sam are left to their own vices on the ground. We're going to go ahead and follow uh, Pokemon here as we see. The whole team is just building up atop the sky right now. Seamus uh, kind of wasting away some of the build material there, making it a little bit more of an interesting build. Got to be careful though not to block, and things have been blocked. All right, scratch what I was about to say. Pokemon, oh, looks like Seamus went down and fell though. Seamus now uh, going to be finding it tough to get back, but Seamus will be engaging in a fight right here. Doge and Sam are close by. Seamus is going to be on the approach. Let's see if we see a follow-up from the rest of the team. Vicky is now going to be rotating down. Sam going to be caught standing still. Seamus going to be annihilating Sam with the orbs. Very nice takedown. Seamus and Vicky are the uh, the two aggressors here. Are they going to be able to find Doge? Doge going to be on the approach from behind now. Vicky is going to need to turn around. Doge going to be letting loose some of the uh, some of the burst wand right there. Not too many are going to be connecting. Seamus and Vicky going to be rotating around, kind of. Um, Biding for time until Doge really shows their face. Nice, Vicky going to be putting up some walls here. Very smart building right now. Going to be building up. Seamus going to be following. Doge going to get caught underneath. Doge going to be hidden right in the crevice there. Vicky and Seamus going to be coming down with the orbs. And that is going to be the end, maybe. Can Doge find a way out of this situation? Um, Seamus being the the brunt of some of the shots here doge gonna get taken down and that is going to be a 4-0 sweep for the side of brookdale great show guys that is going to be uh the first match there are we going to let it go we are going to let it go we're gonna let these guys battle it out for the swag let's see what happens here it is a free for all now boys viggy Seamus, pokemon and jim you guys will battle it, battle it out to see who will be crowned victorious in this battle royale and it looks like they're all emoting. But boys, it is time to battle it out. Whoever wins is going to be crowned the actual victor of this match. Let's see who decides to jump first. The storm is closing in, but not like it matters all that much. Once again, they're still just emoting. Hello, boys. Yes, I see you emoting. Jim's the man. Going to be coming out. Vinny now is going to approach Jim. Are we going to see a firefight? We are! Vicky's going to unleash some of the early orb shots here. Jim the Man is going to be snaking around very effortlessly. Going to be taking some of those orb shots now. Vicky just unrelentless, using up all of the MP they have. Jim going to be emoting. Going to go down for a Valiant Cause. Jim going to be firing back now. Jim now knows it is. Oh, Jim is going to get taken out. Vicky is left over. Pokemon in the corner, and it looks like... Well, what is this going on here? Seamus has just immediately built up out of the competition. No, Seamus saying, no thank you, my friend. Keep me out of that. Viggy now going to be doing the same Pokemon, just standing still over there. Viggy with the rotation, unfortunately, not going to be doing it fast enough. Going to be falling down off that structure. Pokemon going to be rotating around. Both players on the center of the map right now. Seamus is above, waiting for the approach. Viggy... Going to be trying to find an easier way up. Not going to find it. Pokemon right there next to him. Pokemon and Viggy. Viggy going to be snaking in and out of those shots. Pokemon going to get taken down. And it is now a 1v1 situation between Viggy and Seamus. Seamus going to be immediately leaping down here. No care for the sky structure that was just built. Seamus going to be rushing into the center of the zone. Trying to find good footing. Viggy going to be on the approach though. Vicky going to be unleashing the first shots. Seamus going to be retaliating. Both players using the orb wand here. Are we going to see a swap? Vicky still going to be on the approach. Seamus going to be able to run, but not for long. So many orbs coming from the side of Vicky. Is that just an unlimited amount of mana? Vicky going to be landing some of the shots here. Seamus going to be on the leave, and that is going to be the victory for Vicky IOS YT. Very nice job, my friend. We're going to go ahead and throw it to a quick break. We saw some nice strategy and stuff, and we'll be right back with more Battle Royale action. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back once again for round two of this Battle Royale segment. This time, we're going to be sticking uh, Eric in there from our production team, going to be helping out the other guys. Uh, now it is going to be an even 4v4 situation. For both sides of Brookdale, we're going to be seeing if uh, 
Vigi, Jim's the man, Pokemon, and Seamus have what it takes, and we're gonna be seeing if Kashawn, Sam7, Doge, and Eric have what it takes on their side to bring it back for the other team. All right, gonna go ahead and mark that one down. Taking a look at the map here, gonna be seeing the Volcano Zone on the south side, the Purple Fissure on the southeast. And it looks like the drops are relatively even here, actually. Uh, we're gonna be seeing Jim's the man, uh, Seamus, Pokemon 12, and Vigi all on the bottom right side of the map. And we're gonna be seeing uh, Doge, Kashan, and Sam7 on the top right side. Looks like we're seeing Eric immediately rushing in there though. Do these guys know that Eric is right behind them? The Grim Reaper of Battle Royale has come! Ooh, looks like Seamus went down immediately. What is going on? Vigi as well! Oh my goodness! We're not going to be seeing any sort of reaction from them right now. Eric is just in there clobbering them. All right, Jim's the man and Pokemon now grabbing some chests for themselves. Sam7, Doge, and Kashan are still up there on the bridge side. Jim's the man chasing Eric. Eric going to get pictured by Pokemon now. Uh-oh. Eric going to be taking a lot of shots here. Oh, Eric from behind! Jim's the man going to be eliminating him in the crossfire. Jim's the man in Pokemon now. Uh, seeing if they have what it takes to bring it back and take down Sam7, Kashan, and Doge. Alright. Sam7, uh, Kashan, and Doge are going to be in here grabbing some chests from this bridge right here. Not going to be finding too much on the lower levels. It definitely looks like it's going to be spread out towards the higher up. Sam going to be rotating into the graveyard there. And Doge is going to be falling down the mountain, going to be grabbing whatever chest that they found up at the top. Sam7 now on the uh, graveyard side, opting to not go for that chest, does not have the build energy to go up there, Sam. Now we see Pokemon 12 and Jim's the man rotating up the mountain. Going to be emoting on top, dancing. Hello, boys. How's it going? Going to be... Emoting just a little bit, looking for the enemies. I do believe that they definitely have spotted them, but are we going to see a, an, an approach or a rush from this early on? All right, taking a quick look at the map here. The storm is slowly closing in. Not going to be seeing too much on the map just yet. Uh, as we see, uh, Jim and Pokemon still sitting high atop the mountain. Going to be building up now. And with the players of the other side of Brookdale, Sam, oh, Doge and Kashan are going to be building up now. Definitely like to see this. They notice that the other guys are building and they are going to retaliate with a building of their own. Maybe laying in wait here. Kashan and Doge might need a little bit more build energy. That is already a lot as it is uh, in order to pressure Pokemon and Jim. Uh, once again, when the storm starts closing in, Gonna be finding out who is gonna get pressured away from their building first. It definitely could go either way here. When that storm does start closing in, these players are going to have to adapt and it looks like the storm may be coming in towards this side of the map, but only time will tell. Sam7 still off here alone in the graveyard area. Definitely going to be a dangerous spot. Do not want to get closed in on by the other side of Brookdale. Taking a look at Sam's perspective in just a second here. Sam firing off some shots, but Sam, those are your teammates. The bad guys are behind you up above in the sky. Jim's the man and Pokemon are going to be rotating in using their build energy looking for the opponent's. Jim taking a quick peek. Sam, Deshaun, and Doge are down there. Looks like they have realized that they are their teammates and they have now figured out who the bad guy is and where they are. Jim and Pokemon sitting nice atop uh, this little bridge they've built for themselves at the moment. Let's take another look at the map. Looks like the storm is actually probably going to be closing in towards the middle on the side. Jim and Pokemon are going to be rushing down. Did they notice that the rushdown has begun? Jim going to be flanking from the side, Pokemon on the other, releasing a huge orb shot, not going to connect with anyone, Pokemon now approaching, Sam has realized they are on the approach, are they going to be able to chase down Pokemon without Jim? All the retaliation, Pokemon going to be firing away here, Jim going to be unleashing shots, Doge going to be taking the brunt of those, Sam going to be unleashing a flurry of random shots in different directions, Jim using the burst wand. Gonna be building in front of him. Very smart strategy there. Absorb some of the shots. Jim gonna be 
pulled away by the zone right now, though. Pokemon, looks like all of these players are going to get pressured in by the zone. Jim can easily take out a bunch of them right here, right now. Pokemon 12 and Jim going to be closing in on Kashan. Kishan going to get taken down. Sam 7 and Doge are the last two remaining from the other side. Jim and Pokemon now rotating around these buildings. Going to be firing some shots through those structures. Jim going to be unleashing that burst wand. Doge going to be taking the brunt of those. Sam going to be slowly trailing behind. Jim opting to run right past Doge. Take down Sam, leaving Doge for Pokemon. Very smart play. Sam going to be turning around, looking to hop into that house for some safety, but is it going to be enough? Jim and Doge going to be firing shots away at each other. Doge whipping up the scatter wand here. Definitely going to be dangerous at close range. The auto wand coming out. Jim going to get caught in the center. Doge and Jim going to get taken down. Oh no, never mind. Doge is still alive. Sam and Doge are still here. Pokemon is the last one from the other side. Sam7 and Doge not knowing where Pokemon is. Doge going to spot him. Pokemon right here. Doge going to take him down quickly. Pokemon not going to be able to whip it around fast enough. And that is going to be the takedown for them. Doge and Sam are the victors for the other side of Brookdale Community College. And the Sage is now 1-1. I think we're going to let this one end it out real quick. Uh, Doge or Sam, whoever it is, you are going to be crowned the victor here. Let's see who is the winner of this battle royale. Both players headed right for each other. Who's going to unleash the first shots? Doge is. Sam going to be retaliating. Sam, unfortunately, not having enough health to withstand the shots from Doge. And that is going to be the victory for round two. The stage is now 1-1. We're going to throw it to a quick break. And we'll be right back with more Battle Royale. All right. We have returned once again for the final round of this uh, this stream of Black Rockets Battle Royale. We're going to be taking a quick look at the map here, and as we've seen in the last two games, there was a lot of building strategies that we saw, but not a lot of them. So the the first match didn't have all that much. The second one had a little bit more. We saw some interesting strategies from both sides as well. Uh, a lot of building up and just building straight definitely worked. Um, in one of those last few fights, we did actually get to see a player place down like a corner wall, like a 90 degree wall, and that was definitely a smart way to stay safe in the fight. Gonna be seeing the drop here. Let's see what's going on. We're gonna be seeing Jim, Seamus, Pokemon, and uh, Vigi dropping in the dinosaur realm, and we are gonna be seeing the other side, Doge, Eric, Sam, and Kishan dropping in the uh, mountainous bridge biome right next door. Excuse me. All right. So, taking another quick look here. Uh, it seems Seamus and Jim... Or is it just Seamus? Seamus and Jim have dropped on top of the dinosaur. There are going to be three chests up there. That is going to be a huge loot drop for them. Uh, Pokemon and Vigi not going to be finding too much on the other side. Maybe there's some chests over by our uh, Cosmo and Wanda dinosaurs over here. Unfortunately, there is nothing for them. Uh, looks like we're going to be seeing... Uh, Vigi is going to be running off into the distance over there while the other three stick around in the dinosaur area. Maybe going to be spreading the loot between each other here before uh, finding the other team here. Uh, Eric is going to be uh, rotating into the dinosaur zone here while the rest of his team is located up in that, uh, that snowy bridge. Not too much going to be going on right now. Just going to be grabbing loot, uh, setting stuff aside, getting energy like Kishan is doing very nice. Now, once again, taking a look, we are still seeing uh, the uh, the Jim's Demand, Seamus, Pokemon, and Vigi team uh, is going to be located uh, in that dinosaur zone. They are not making too much movement right now. Uh, maybe looking to grab some energy, which they did from these dinosaurs. Very, very smart. These trees will be good sources of energy as well. While Vigi rotates into another biome to grab more chests for themselves. All right. Now taking a look here. Uh, we're going to be seeing Doge, Sam, Eric, and Kishan grouping up at the top of the mountain here. Eric going to be firing off some burst one shots, alerting uh, his teammates of where the enemies are, maybe. Uh, can we see that uh, one side of Brookdale has located the other? Seamus going to be rotating underneath the trees here. Jim the man. Pokemon has rotated into the center of the map now. Jim and Seamus are going to be following suit into the center 
Uh, and we will be seeing the one side of Brookdale going to be taking charge of the center of the map as the storm begins to close in. Soon enough, uh, this side of Brookdale will be pressured away from this snowy mountain biome. Eric going to be jumping right off that mountain. And I'm sure... Oh, unfortunately, Keishan going to be taken down by Sam right there. Some unfortunate friendly fire, I think. Doge now rotating over to see what happened. Keishan, unfortunately, getting taken down. And now it is a 3v4 situation for uh, one side of Brookdale. All right. Got to be careful here. The storm is closing in. Sam and Doge now going to be pressured by the storm. These guys need to get moving. Might be smart to follow Eric here towards the center of the map. Gonna be rotating in. Gotta follow your teammates. That will be uh, your quick way to victory. Uh, once again, if those guys do not know, you can hold the shift button to run faster. If you hold that, you will run quickly and avoid as much damage as possible. Uh, Doge now escaping as well as Sam from the storm. And uh, we're gonna be rotating over to the other side. It looks like these guys have literally just taken control of the entire other side of the map. Seamus, Vigi, and Jim on the bottom right corner of the center map here, and Pokemon all the way out in the graveyard zone. All right, look like Do Doge is on the approach right now. Has Brookdale spotted him? Looks like Seamus may have spotted him, but he's on the retreat right now. Doge going to be taking refuge behind a tiny rock here. Jim's the man. Definitely going to be spotting Doge right here. Quick orb shot. Oh, excuse me. Doge going to be letting loose on Seamus here, but does not spot Jim's the man. Going to get taken down. That is another one for the other side of Brookdale here. Excuse me. Do have the hiccups at the moment. All right. It is now a 4v2 situation. Eric is on the approach right now. All four players from Brookdale are in a group. Need to be careful here. Eric, unfortunately, going to get taken down by the crossfire between Jim and Pokemon. Seamus is now on the approach for Sam. Maybe not. All right, taking another close look at our players here. Each of these players in the match, it is now the late game, I would say. The storm is closing in. Ooh, Sam. Need to be careful. You are in the storm. That is going to be doing a lot of damage now. All right. Oh, oh maybe not. Got to be careful here. Ooh, Jim's the man coming in from the side. Looking like a charge up orb shot, and it is going to be just enough to take down Sam. We will now see the end of this battle royale segment. Seamus, Jim, and Vigi can battle it out for the vic victory. Jim looking like he's on the flank for Vigi right now. Oh, just narrowly avoiding that charged up orb blast. Jim now switching to the auto. Auto Wand, Vigi going to be hiding behind. Oh! Going to be taking him out. Vigi and Seamus now cross-firing with orbs. And that is going to be the victory for Vigi. Just like mentioned in chat earlier. Congratulations, my friend. You are the victor and your class has claimed victory over the other Brookdale class site. Thank you so much for watching, guys. My name is Jake. It has been an absolute blast commentating for you. We do have one more stream prepped for you and ready to go at... 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I apologize for the hiccups. I don't know what's come over me. Um, if you're watching us here live, make sure to give us a follow at twitch.tv slash blackrocketllc. If you're not able to catch us live, make sure to check out our highlights channel at youtube.com slash brpclips. And last but not least, thank you so much to our sponsor, Education Solutions. Make sure to check those guys out after the streams today. My name is Jake. Thank you for watching, guys, and we will see you again in just a little while.